Omega-3s benefit all ages, aiding infant development and reducing adult cognitive decline. Fish like salmon and tuna in the diet, or supplements based on fish oil, derived from sardines and anchovies, is a known source of omega-3. But, the majority of the population do not consume enough omega-3 fatty acids, leading to global deficiencies. It can be a real challenge to get in adequate nutrients when you're time poor and busy, especially because convenience foods and ultra processed foods are surrounding us and these tend to be low in nutrients, high in sugar and high in poor quality fats. Omega-3s are critically important to get in our diet because our bodies don't actually make omega-3s, so we are solely and exclusively reliant on dietary intake. For vegans, vegetarians and flexitarians, it can often be quite a challenge to get enough omega-3 in through the diet. Now you can get a source of omega-3 called ALA in certain plant foods, such as chia seeds, flax seeds and walnuts. But what we do know is that conversion of ALA to the more active forms of omega-3 is quite poor in the body. So even if you're eating lots of those plant foods, you might not be getting enough. And this is where algae-based supplements might actually fill that gap. The world has an increasing demand for omega-3. And that increasing demand is typically coming from the need for omega-3 in animals and in human nutrition. Omega-3 is an essential nutrient, which means it cannot be produced by humans. It needs to be taken through the diet. The primary source of omega-3 is fish oil, simply because fish eat algae in the ocean and therefore accumulate omega-3. But there is a limit to what the oceans can deliver us in terms of omega-3. And the limit has been reached. For years, there is a stagnant supply of omega-3, while there is an increasing demand for omega-3 ingredients. So the world needs to look at alternatives. Algae fermentation is one of those alternatives. We can make an omega-3 source without using any fish. We still use the same base material as what the fish consume in the ocean. And we have basically set up a fermentation system that will deliver omega-3 rich oil without touching the oceans and with a lower footprint of more than 40% compared to fish oil. Corbion is using algae fermentation for the production of omega-3, which is sold into animal nutrition and human nutrition. We believe that beyond the ingredients that we sell today, there is a world of opportunities. Omega-3s are a group of polyunsaturated fatty acids that are critical for human health and can be found in fish, nuts and seeds. The main three groups are EPA, DHA and ALA. EPA is an omega-3 fatty acid that is known for its anti-inflammatory effects, so it can benefit the brain and the body. DHA, on the other hand, is actually a major structural component of the brain and is the most abundant polyunsaturated fat in the brain, which is why it's no wonder that it supports cognitive function and development, but also plays a role in vision, cardiovascular health and immune system function. Omega-3s play a really important role in heart health. The cardioprotective effect of EPA and DHA is plausible, considering we know that EPA and DHA reduce risk factors associated with cardiovascular disease, such as blood lipids, blood pressure, heart rate variability and inflammation. Omega-3s are important during pregnancy. Regular consumption of EPA and DHA have been shown to reduce the risk of preterm birth and supports normal neural development of the baby. People can get EPA and DHA omega-3s in through their diet by consuming two to three portions of oily fish a week. However, we know that across the board, dietary intake of omega-3s is quite low, and this is where supplements can be helpful. Supplements can help to supplement your diet and help fill a gap. So if you're not getting adequate amounts of omega-3 in through your diet, you can consider taking a fish oil-based supplement or an algae-based supplement. In nature, algae is the original source for omega-3. But algae also produce other nutrients. Over the years, we have developed a strain library through algae fermentation. We can make other ingredients around proteins, 
antioxidants and other lipids that all have a health benefit for animals and humans. We have the intention to explore this library to develop nutrients for the future produced in a sustainable way. Industrial fermentation is a process used in different industries to produce uh, valuable compounds through the use of microorganisms. Typically these microorganisms are then grown in large-scale fermentation tanks where we can control the conditions very well, conditions like temperature, oxygen, also the presence of nutrients and pH. And traditionally fermentation has been used for a long time already to produce different food products like alcoholic beverages, vinegar and other fermented foods. And at Corion, we leverage fermentation technology to produce sustainable solutions. Regarding renewable energy, a great example is our facility in Oranjuva, Brazil, where our production plant is integrated with a sugar mill. During the production of sugar from sugar cane, a byproduct is generated, and this byproduct is used as a source of energy to produce both electricity and steam. And this electricity and steam is used as an energy source for the sugar mill. But there's also a surplus and this surplus of energy is then used to power our facility. So overall, the whole process can be powered by renewable energy. Our fermentation system is sometimes also referred to as high density fermentation. In other words, it's a very efficient way to get to the nutrients that we need in a natural production system. On top of that, our system is fueled with 100% renewable energy and therefore it has a very low carbon footprint. All in all, efficiency and sustainability really makes this production system preferred over others. So as industrial fermentation uses uh, plant-based sugars as the starting point, that means that agriculture is really an important part of the chain. And agriculture is also associated with negative impacts on people and the environment. So it's really important to take care that this is done in the most sustainable way possible to ensure that they meet our requirements. In Corbin Health and Nutrition, we are focusing on new technologies to make sustainable nutrition. So on one hand, we want to make an impact by developing new nutrients that are essential for humans and animals. On the other hand, we are targeting to help our customers reach their sustainability goals for the future. An example of that is that we supply an omega-3 into aquaculture to really make salmon farming more sustainable. Achieving global food security within the limits of our planet poses several challenges with the growing world population, environmental constraints, climate change. And industrial fermentation is a great tool to help address uh, some of these challenges. And that's how we see business for the future. It needs to be sustainable and nutritious, and that can go hand in hand. Yeah, I take my omega-3s every day because uh, working on, uh, on this project for Corbion has made me more conscious of the importance uh, of omega-3s. Of course, I'm a fish lover, so I will get part of my omega-3 through, uh, through diet. But I also always make sure that every morning I take my omega-3 and vitamin pill. Uh, luckily, today the source comes from, uh, from algae, which uh, also makes sure that I do that in a sustainable way. Nutrition has the power to change people's lives and help them feel their optimal self. You know, people assume that nutrition is just counting calories and weight loss, but actually using nutrition can help with people's energy, immune system, mood, healthy aging, skin, hormones, and so much more. And this is all through the power of what we choose to eat. I really wish people knew just how important omega-3s are. People sit back and expect that their diet's just gonna cover their bases, but we know with omega-3 that dietary intake is really important because our bodies don't make omega-3s naturally itself. So if you're not getting in two to three portions of oily fish a week, you really may need to supplement with an algae-based supplement.